I'm here today with a book review. I haven't done one of these in so long. So anyway, today I'm reviewing Calypso by Natalie Cunningham. Calypso, um, I'm gonna give it three out of five stars. I enjoyed it. Overall it was a fun story, but I did have some problems with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what it's about first, and then I'll get into my thoughts. So Calypso is about this alien girl named Iva who lives on one of Saturn's moons, which already I thought was pretty cool. That was basically, besides the cover, that was basically why I picked this up. I was like, hey, first of all, this cover is effing gorgeous. And then I was like, what? Not only does it take place on a different planet, but it's like on not really a different planet. It's a different planet's moon. So I was just like, yes, please. <laughs> so anyway, this girl Iva lives on one of Saturn's moons called Calypso, and one day they get invaded by humans. She is basically on her own from the very start of this invasion. She's super afraid, faints all the time, doesn't know how to handle anything. She can't do anything. She's she's a total wuss. She's a terrible little wussy little girl. And But she ends up meeting this boy, Justin, who is a human from Earth, and they basically form an alliance so that they can both get through this invasion. So Iva doesn't want people invading her home, and Justin doesn't want to be where he is. So they work together to try and stop the war that is happening on one of Saturn's moons, and that's basically what it's about. So the things that I didn't like about it, first of all, it's kind of insta So Iva and Justin, I feel like, would not fall in love or in like as fast as they did in real life. It was kind of weird. <laughs> they were both like, I'm afraid of you. I don't know what to do. Oh, let's kiss. Mm, that was kind of annoying for me. And they kissed a lot. And I feel like they kissed in some situations where you shouldn't be kissing. Like, run, little children, run. Stop, stop with the kissing and get out of there. Uh, I also just kind of thought there was maybe a little bit too much action. I mean, maybe not that there's too much action, but it was like one thing after another. It was like some big thing happened, and then another big thing happened, and then another big thing happened, and it was like, oh my god, can can more stuff even happen? Yes, more stuff could happen. More stuff happened all the time. And it was like everything was happening to Iva, and I was like, how is she not dead? I don't understand how she's... It was basically, there was just, there was a lot of just one big thing happening after another. I felt like some of it was a little far-fetched. I feel like maybe there was, a, there was a lot going on and there could have been a little bit less and it might have been better if there was a little bit less. Um, and then the insta thing was kind of annoying. <laughs> other than that though, I thought, it was, I thought it was fun. I thought it was just basically, it was just an adventure, it was just an adventurous, good, fun book. I think this would probably appeal to uh, a little bit of a younger audience. I think because of like the insta-lovey thing, and because there's a lot of action and there isn't like too much depth to like the characters of the story, it's mostly just like, here's a fun thing that's happening. And there's also, there's like explosions and there's shooting and there's kissing, which I feel like probably a lot of 13 year olds would really enjoy it. And uh, I did, even though like, uh, Iva was so annoying in the beginning and I was like, oh my god girl, just pull yourself together. But she did pull herself together and I really liked that about it. And I liked that it was like, it kind of was like a slow progression. It's not like she was like, all of a sudden, Iva is this big, strong girl. It was a slow progression that happened, which I thought was pretty well done. And there were a few scenes sort of that I really, really enjoyed. And there were some characters that I really liked. Like, I feel like I was probably supposed to like Justin the best. Um, or Justin, like, I was, he was supposed to be like my, you know, the guy I had a crush on. But I loved Brett. Brett was such a good character. I felt that he was the strongest out of all of them, even stronger than Iva. <laughs> and I just, he warmed my heart and the things that he said and the ways that he said them. And even just like when he's first introduced, I really liked because he's actually, he's a human from the, he's a human who's like invading, but he doesn't want to be there. And when he sees Iva for the first time, it's like, he knows that he's supposed to capture her or kill her, but he can't bring himself to do it. So he captures her so that nobody else can. And I really liked that about it. And I just really liked the, I really liked that. And then also the aliens in the book can camouflage. And the first time that Iva does it in front of Justin was really cool. And I thought it was really, really sweet the way that he reacted to it. And even though it happened way too soon, 
I thought that their first kiss was kind of romantic and kind of cute and it made me smile even though it was happening even though it was like cringy at the same time because it was like come on get to know each other a little bit more like you're an alien and you're a human and you're not giving it much time for you guys <laughs> but it was it was cute <laughs> so overall I thought this was a solid book um, I also I'm pretty sure this is her first book so I mean I think it was really good for a first book um, and I'm pretty sure that she has other books out and if they can't obviously would have come out after this so they're probably even better so I'm definitely gonna check out the other books by her and see what they're like and uh, see if she's grown as a writer because I'm sure that happens a lot I mean you do anything more and more and you're gonna get better at it so I would like to see what else she's got in store and see if I like them any better and I guess that's all Calypso Three to five stars. It was kind of cliche and insta-lovey, but it was fun.